This part of our worship service is brought to you by Ketchup Sunday, May 18th, and our Ketchup Advisory Board. These are the good years, and it was a May like no other May for my wife and me, golden days, and the weather on Sunday was a thing of beauty, the warming sun long awaited and finally arrived. My wife and I were traveling and we decided to stop in this small river town named Dawson. It had a gorgeous main street with hanging flower baskets on the light posts and a donate blood sign in the middle of a busy intersection. There were children slowly moving down the sidewalk heading reluctantly toward a quaint brick church. The children looked upset, mad actually. Some children were even crying. We followed them and as we pulled up into the church parking lot, other church members were exiting their vehicles with hot dishes, some with dinner rolls and others with red jello in their hands. They looked tired and forlorn. We decided to go in just as worship was about to start. We were greeted by a loving couple named John and Tammy, who later we learned had decided to live in this small town and to raise their family in this community. We walked into church feeling so contented, but when we were handed our bulletins and went to sit down, we noticed that the inside order of worship was not printed. So I went back to one of the ushers and I asked if I might have a new bulletin, one that is printed on both sides so we could follow along. And so one of the ushers said to me, Oh, be quiet and sit back down. I am just sick of you and all of your complaining. So I go back to sit down in my pew with my half-printed bulletin, and in the meantime, my wife is gone. Turns out she was sitting in someone else's pew, and she was asked to leave. I found her sitting up front next to the acolytes, so I joined her. The service continued, the choir sang off-key a song entitled An Old Irish Cursing which we thought was a strange title for a choir anthem. Then all the scripture readings were read from the Psalms, the Psalms of lament. And then for communion, as we knelt at the altar railing, we only received the bread, and as the pastor moved by us, we asked, is that all we get? And the pastor says, what did you expect, a four-course meal? Church ended, and as we walked to our vehicle, we looked up and we saw a flock of geese flying over the church in X formation. And as we drove off in our car, we noticed the sign in front of the church that said, Lutherans only, others just go away. And then we realized that something's wrong here. This church is not getting enough ketchup. Ketchup contains natural mellowing agents that help you gain perspective on what's really important, naturally. These are the good times. With springtime in the air, churches in Christ's spirit, and wonderful memories. Life is flowing like ketchup on casseroles catch up for the good times catch up sunday may 18th <laughs>